Hi, my name is Jacqueline Liao. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. I am also a, a 2019 Glennon Fellowship awardee. My project title is Development and Construction of Fire Dynamics Demonstration Box. First, I would like to talk about the motive and uh, objective of my project. I've been teaching a graduate level course, Fire Dynamics. While this course has been well received by students, I have observed that some students found fire dynamics to be an abstract concept due to the lack of everyday experience with fires. While I always try to complement my, my lecture with relevant examples, pictures, and sometimes even videos, I encounter difficulties in finding appropriate materials for some of the lecture topics. I deeply believe that one of the most effective ways to learn is through hands-on experience. Most fire dynamics phenomena can be realized through relative simple experiments. The experiments can be really simple and can be even used for young student outreach events. However, concerns for safety and a lack of resources have prevented me from performing or demonstrating such simple, fire, even very, very simple fire experiments in classroom. Because of this, so I, I, um, I have this project. The objective is to develop uh, uh, and construct a safe demonstration box for fire dynamics. This demonstration box will allow students to observe and even conduct some experiments that are relevant to lecture content. This demonstration box can also be used in outreach events to primary and secondary school students, such as um, the e-week engineering carnival event or the showcase event. Okay, so here are um, some of the project activities. The first thing I did is to recruit a student team. The student team consists of five undergrad students. They range from sophomore to senior students, and most of the team members are from underrepresented group in STEM. Over the last um, few months, the team has been operating at a very high level. They selected their own team captain then regularly they also updated me, their progress in a very timely manner. I'm very, very happy with this team. I'm so blessed to have uh, their help. Okay, so that's the first thing I did. And then um, the first thing we did was to decide a fire dy dynamics demonstration box. Here on this uh, slide, so you can see a, a hand drawing of the very initial concept that they had. They later have like very sophisticated CAD model, but I think this hand drawing is cooler to show. <laughs> okay, so um, the box is a, a transparent box for demonstration purposes. And it is portable, so I can bring it with me to classroom, to outreach events. It is also configurable so that this box can, config, uh, can accommodate different demonstration experiments. After our fire dynamics demonstration box is constructed, we will be implementing various uh, fire demonstration experiments. Due to the time constraint, I'm going to only show one example to give you some idea of what kind of uh, demonstration experiments we will be implementing. The example is fire wear or the so-called fire tornado. In the upper right picture, you can see uh, 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 the fire wear, the naturally generated fire wear uh, in a forest fire. I believe the picture was taken in uh, Australia a wildland fire, forest fire. So uh, uh, the core of the fire world is made of rising hot gases in induced by the fire, intense fire underneath. A large cylinder of air spins around the core. So uh, while a uh, uh, natural made fire world can be very dramatic, very devastating, a small scale fire well generated in a well controlled classroom setting is a perfect demonstration of gas phase process of fire dynamics. It can be even a, a, a very good demonstration of fluid dynamic and heat transfer processes. Um, so on the lower right of this slide, you can see uh, our proposed uh, demonstration experiment setting. So these are top view. So you can see the dash gray box, that is the, the top view, again, top view, at our demonstration box. So everything will be contained nicely in the box. And then um, the, the setup consists a set of baffle, 
arranged around a stationary small flame. The road of the baffles is to direct the airflow in a spiral pattern. And then uh, we designed a mechanism that allows students to rotate the baffle angle. So you can see on the lower right, you can see the angle of the baffle can be rotated. And then while doing that, um, they can observe in real time how far were formed. Uh, in addition to, to implementing the experiment, the, the student team will also develop developed, uh, materials, for example, poster, info sheets, operation instructions uh, for, each for each developed experiment. So last, after everything is set, I will lead the student team to perform fire demonstration experiments in my lecture and also outreach event. So that's uh, my project. Thank you very much.